guys, so I want to tell you all about a dream that I had um, about two days ago. Dear Father in Heaven, please help me to share this dream and say everything you want me to say. Father, I thank you for this opportunity, and I ask that the ears and hearts of the people be open to receive what it is that you want them to receive in Jesus' name, amen. So in this dream, God just taught me a few things. Okay, and I'll, I'll just start off with a quick lesson first. Satan is after the sanctity of Christian homes, marriages, families. He wants to ruin them, okay? That's one thing. God also um, taught me how um, a way that witches can, can work. And then also, also um, you know, it's not enough to just um, read the Bible. You need to read the Bible. Don't just read the Bible. But you need to praise God and you need to pray. Okay? Um, that was something that he also taught me in this dream. So uh, let me get into the dream. In this dream, there was these three men that I know. I'm not going to say who they are. Um, but I think it can affect other men as well once you see, you know, how those devils work. And so, um, what would happen is the men was, was in one body, and the face kept changing to the, um, well, first it kept changing to two different men throughout the dream, and then the last dream, it just showed me this one other guy, too. So, um, I know all these three guys personally. I know that all three of them are professing Christians. Um, all three of them are married. Um, and maybe it just showed me the, the other guy at the end because I don't know him that well at all. Um, we are associates at best. I don't really know him. But the other two I know um, definitely have had a lot of problems in their marriage. Um, one couple is completely split up, and the other one, um, they've been split up, but they keep getting back together. So um, they're together right now. So, you know. And um, I've already spoken to this individual and gave, given him this dream. But anyway, so in this dream, what was happening was I was seeing these people that, as they was married. And um, they was having problems in their, their marriage. It was a lot of turmoil. And um, on the woman's side, it was a lot of heartache, just a lot of pain, a lot of crying, like what is going on. And these, these two men, I'm not going to talk about the last man because, like I said, I don't know him that well. But anyway, these two men, and this is in the dream. This, this is not just for me knowing them. Had uh, sexual problems. But um, it was witchcraft being done on them to make them have more sexual problems. Because in the dream, they were headed in the right direction. Um, to get over those things through the blood of Jesus and these witches was Was trying to break up the family and it was doing a witchcraft on the, the men because they had this issue um, And was trying to make them feel like they were already messed up It was nothing they can do. There's no way to fight the sexual problems and the urges and and uh, there's no way to combat it They need to just give in to it. So in the dream this witch had lured these men away from their family with the promise of sex and these men had went to this witch for sex and this witch um, had no intention of having sex with, with, with these men. What she was doing was, it, it, it looks like they was drugs but I think it was witchcraft and, and they were um, like woozy, like this, like oh, oh, just and she was, what she was doing was project, projecting demons, putting demons, literal sex demons, all who knows what kind of all demons, demons into them. And she was giving them false memories in this dream. Now, I'm, hey, I'm just saying what I, what I dreamed. False memories was like, okay. But anyway, that's what was happening. She was making them think that they had sex with her, and she was making them think that they had sex with a lot of other people that they did not have sex with. And it was all witchcraft, and she was telling them that they were so messed up, and they were so ruined, and um, there was no way to get over it. And she was so evil, because, I mean, these men were just, uh, she was just, uh, just pounding these demons in their head. It was the wickedest, most evil thing. And I know, because um, in the dream, 
um, and, and when she was doing this, there was another lady in the background that looked like either a young adult, and these women were African American. One of them looked like it was either a young adult, um, yeah, I would say a young adult, probably her daughter, probably the daughter is what I remember thinking, and she was, she was part of the witchcraft as well. So anyway, um, what I did is, yeah, she was like this young girl, she was like helping them with the, like helping her mom with the witchcraft, like helping cater to her niece while she was doing these horrible things. And then so, um, me and my daughter walked in, we called them what they was doing. And we was like, you know, who, who I dare you, what do you think you're doing? And she was like, oh, don't tell anybody who I am and um, I'll reverse it, just let me reverse it and just don't tell nobody who I am. And so I'm taking this man out that was all, and even what I'm taking out, he's all woozy, like this, he was just all messed up because I knew that we caught her in the act of the witchcraft and she didn't have uh, a chance to get him back to seem normal. Because I knew in the dream that what she was going to do is um, make him think they had sex and, and get him back to acting like normal, like, oh, baby, you know, whatever. And, um, and she didn't get to do that, so, I, so he was all woozy. And as we're walking out, I said, wait a minute, you know, I, was, I said to my daughter, my oldest daughter was there, I said, we can't trust a witch. She's a witch. We can't trust in her. She'll, she'll give him something else. She might take this away, but then she'll give him something else. We can't trust in no witch. And so, um, and then I said, we need to praise God. It was either we need to praise God and pray, or we need to praise God only. So, um, lately, God has been telling me every single day of my life for the past, oh my goodness, probably two weeks, praise Him, praise Him. I mean, you know, sometimes you get a song in your spirit. And you really need to pay attention to that song because that song is telling you something. Okay? So in my spirit, and I listen to all kind of music all the time, but my spirit is always telling me, praise God, praise God, praise God. Because I read the Bible every day, okay? Now some people, they may hear that, you know, but I read the Bible every day. But praising God is something that um, I can get lost in about sometimes. And God is really calling me to praise Him. So, you know, that's important and that's that was that was my dream. Anyway, you know, stay vigilant and um, you know, eschew all evil. Don't fall for this witchcraft. Be prayed up, uh, men of God. Especially, I speak to you, men of God. Be prayed up, um, the women of God as well. Uh, the devil can give uh, spirits of procrastination, all kind of spirits. You know, we don't have the armor of God, and um, these things can oppress us as Christians. So we need to stay prayed up, Ephesians 6, put on the armor of God. Um, I have a spiritual warfare video. Watch it and it's me read some scriptures. And um, please, you know, just, um, and I'm, I'm really calm doing this video, but I'm telling you, it, that lady was so wicked and evil. And this, this devil, is, he has no remorse, no remorse at all. We serve an enemy that is relentless. You better believe it. He does not sit down and and just take time out okay this this is a wicked devil that is in this world and these people that are his minions are just trying to be just as wicked as he is so um know that there is an enemy and it probably is playing against your family and wanting to, to screw up your family and rip you to shreds so get in the word of god get praying get get uh, praising god praise god because something releases something breaks on you when you start praising God, something just like just like a weight that just falls off of you. So anyway, I love you all, and um, I really am going to pray for you. Dear Father in heaven, I just pray right now, Father, that you would just touch everyone that hears this message, male or female, Father. Help them, Lord God, with whatever battles in their life. Open their eyes, Father, that they will know and see if they are there are some witches that are playing against them or warlocks, which are the men. Um, and just help them, God, to be diligent and not to, to have problems, no matter what it is, if it's overeating, um, procrastination, um, uh, you know, anything. Just too much video gaming, um, just anything, t TV programs, ungodly TV programs, anything that is, that is keeping them from uh, a complete relationship with you and keeping them from being successful in the things that you tell them to do, Father. I, I count down every work of the enemy. I bind every devil. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Your word says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. We resist the devil today. And we say that he is no, he will not be successful 
because no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, Lord God, because all things work together for the good of those that love you, Lord God, and are called according to your purposes, Father. And we stand in your word today because your word says that your righteousness endureth forever, Father. And that means that you are a God that change not. We can stand on your word in faith, Lord God. We can stand on your word in boldness, Lord God. And we know that your word is true. And Lord God, we just count down every work of the enemy. We say that he is defeated. We pray, Father, deliver us from temptation. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from the evil one, Lord God. We pray that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all.